What is happening everybody? Welcome back to another Formula 1 video and today we're going to be looking at the Lewis Hamilton 2020 Australian Grand Prix Spec Helmet. Yo, thank you, thank you. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to look at Lewis Hamilton's 2020 Australian Grand Prix spec helmet. A very special edition in my Lewis Hamilton collection. Now backstory, as you guys know, I only collect season helmets most of the time, majority of the time. Depends on the driver sometimes, like Mick Schumacher, I've got all of his helmets. I've done a full video looking at all my Mick Schumacher collection. I've literally got every single Mick Schumacher helmet you could possibly have, all hand signed to this point of time to date. So check that out after this video. But Pretty much is the only driver I get special edition. I've got a couple of Lewis Hamilton special edition helmets as well. But this is the Lewis Hamilton 2020 Australian Grand Prix spec. Now, the only reason I got this one and I mixed this one up obviously with the black and purple edition 2020, the Asterian Grand Prix edition it's called, is because I guess we had two starts to the 2020 Formula 1 season. Obviously, the Australian Grand Prix was in 2020 and it didn't go ahead. Now, I actually was there at the Grand Prix I was there on the wet, from the Monday all the way up until the cancellation, and what a shame it was. I was there on the Thursday, saw the drivers walking with masks. It was absolutely crazy, absolutely unbelievable scenes. Ocon had this massive mask. Ocon made a return after all those years. He was not getting sick. We saw Lewis Hamilton had the mask, wasn't going to sign anything. Anyway, long story short, over the years since 2020, I've collected many Lewises and I've been able to get most of my collection signed. Now, before we get into the rest of the 2020 story, here is a look at the 2020 Lewis Hamilton spec. The purple and white, an amazing piece. I love the, the back of this helmet, the still I rise. And then there's obviously got the six stars indicating his six world titles. And of course, it is hand signed at the top. This is the cleanest Lewis Hamilton signature I have got. Now, I got the signature in 2022 where Lewis Hamilton stopped his car, signed multiple things for me. And the thing that I had was that these visors, so my strategy to get Lewis Hamilton was switch visors with other helmets. And then I can, you know, try and get like, say, a double signature on the top on the visor. Say I miss a helmet, switch that original visor back to that helmet. Then I'll have two Hamilton signatures. Now, obviously that sort of didn't work. And luckily for me, I remembered that, holy, holy crap, like I've got visor switch. So for example, Lewis signed the visor on this helmet. And then I realized that visor isn't for this helmet when Lewis Hamilton stopped his car and signed everything for us. So I have to quickly rush and then get another Lewis Hamilton signature. And I was fortunate enough to get the top sign. And that is the cleanest Lewis Hamilton signature I have got on a mini helmet. He loves signing the tops. I made a full video of where Lewis Hamilton was signed and everything you need to know when meeting Lewis Hamilton. So yeah, that's the cleanest Hamilton signature I've got. A really cool piece. Like, like I said, Lewis Hamilton always brings out amazing Formula One pieces. And yeah, this is no exception. It's absolutely awesome. Rate it really highly. Obviously, I do my ratings and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I love the look. It reminds me of his red helmet back in the year prior. Him coming out with the purple edition. Obviously, I like. I think I like the black and purple better. But just the white and purple, I think it matches and looks really cool. And I guess it's the Australian Grand Prix spec. Obviously, you've got the salmon on the top of that and the salmon pattern on the side. It's different. It's unique. Lewis Hamilton always bringing an amazing helmet for his season ahead. Now, back to the 2020 story. Obviously, like I said, I was there at the Grand Prix when it got cancelled. I've been on every single Formula 1 Grand Prix Australian Grand Prix since 2014. All up until 2020, obviously I had a break in 2021, didn't come. Then 2022 onwards, I've gone to every single race. Now in 2020, I was ready to get so many signatures. The drivers that did sign in 2020 were Danny Fiat, Pierre Gasly, Charles Leclerc. I got um, I couldn't get a Daniel Ricciardo and obviously couldn't get Lewis Hamilton. I was lucky enough to actually meet someone that actually got a Lewis Hamilton in 2020. They just had a flag, they chucked the flag in the car. Lewis Hamilton quickly signed the flag, but Lewis didn't want to borrow it during that um, cough cough era of Formula One. And a lot of other drivers weren't signing, they were saying no and all that, and I was trying to get a Raikkonen sign, couldn't get it. And then obviously it got canceled. I had to pretty much say what the hell is going on, and then I had to fly back home, which sort of sucked. But yeah, it really sucked. I, I didn't expect them to cancel the Grand Prix. I was like, there's no way they're going to cancel the Australian Grand Prix. There's no chance, no chance. I was so in denial about it. 
the Grand Prix was cancelled, okay? The Grand Prix was cancelled. And yeah, like at the time it really sucked. Then we had no Formula One for so many months. And obviously Lewis Hamilton bringing his black and purple edition helmet at the Austrian Grand Prix. And the rest is history. Lewis Hamilton became a seven-time Formula One world champion, equaling Michael Schumacher's record, obviously, of seven titles. And obviously went for his eighth in 2021. And the rest is history of Max Verstappen. And now Max Verstappen's dominating. We know what's going on. But yeah, 2020 was a different era of Formula One. Lewis Hamilton obviously clinching the title, becoming a seven-time champion, like I said. And obviously having even COVID during the end of the season and still winning the championship by so many points. Honestly, it was great to have Formula One back at the end of that 2020 like year. Um, but obviously, Lewis Hamilton completely dominated. Bottas did nothing. We also had a little glimpse of George Russell. I remember that when he came in and stepped in for Lewis Hamilton. Almost got pole position and won that race. And we're like, okay, we need to see George Russell in the car. Then we didn't get to see him in 2021, which I guess is a good thing because we had the legendary battle between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. But now, obviously, George Russell killing it in Mercedes. Also, I remember vaguely that I was waiting at a particular spot and I actually saw Jos Verstappen talking to Toto Wolff. And now we're all getting ready to go to the track and everyone's talking, it's cancelled, it's cancelled, it's cancelled. This is like a Friday. And then obviously we found out the news, the Grand Prix was cancelled when I was waiting. Because I actually didn't go to the track early on the Friday because I had other plans to get drivers somewhere else. Because I was like, well, if they're not going to sign, see this is I'll try and get them privately one-on-one. -on -one. So I waited and then we found out obviously the Grand Prix was cancelled. Then I went and partied in Melbourne for a couple of days until I flew home. Yeah, it was um, it was definitely, definitely crazy times during that 2020 AusGP. Let's hope that never happens again. But back to the helmet, Lewis Hamilton... Like I said, bring an amazing piece. We have the 2020, two different specs. Obviously, like I said, this is the 2020 OzGP. I haven't really seen any much of these for sale, to be honest with you guys. I haven't really seen too many of these hand signed as well by Lewis. I think it's more on the rarer side. So guys, this has been the 2020 Australian Grand Prix spec, Lewis Hamilton Formula One mini helmet. Now, if anyone's wondering what size these are, I was asked the question, are they 1.5 or 1.2? These are 1.2 scales, guys. They're big, as you guys see, 1.5 smaller. 1.2 if you want these ones. They're obviously more expensive than 1.5, but that's what they are, 1.2 scale. Guys, follow me on Instagram, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The aim is to get 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We'll see what happens. We're pushing. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next Formula 1 video. Thank you.